We don't think of the mind as an anatomical location in the brain. We don't think of uh, uh, the spirit as an anatomical location in the brain, but we do see uh, the mind and what one, some people might call a person's spirit as the sum of all of the forces uh, in the brain. So it's, it's, it's really quite controversial to, to think about spirituality being a, a function of, uh, of the brain. Um, uh, it offends many people to think that of certain belief systems. When somebody goes to a faith healer, when somebody prays to uh, God, there, there is something that's very uh, soothing about that. There's something that happens in the brain. Uh, people feel better because they feel reassured. Uh, if they're lucky, for instance, if somebody has a, a kind of malaise that isn't linked to some more catastrophic illness, and praying uh, to whomever you pray to, if that helps you feel better and relieves the malaise, that is really doing something. The danger is when there's some other biological process that's going on uh, for which the prayer or the reassurance isn't going, to, isn't going to be helpful. You know, if somebody has pancreatic cancer and they pray to God and expect that God is going to cure the pancreatic cancer, that's not going to work. One of the things that people fear about learning more about the brain is that, that scientists are somehow saying that religion is meaningless, that, that scientists are somehow saying that people have to make moral choices, uh, spirituality doesn't matter, the scientists are saying uh, religion doesn't matter, the scientists are saying that uh, everything that we do is a product of, of biology and so everything is predetermined, so why bother to be moral, why bother to make uh, decisions, why not just let things go? But that's not what scientists are saying at all. Just because we understand more about how the brain functions doesn't mean that, that doesn't, doesn't, relink, doesn't relieve us of responsibilities uh, to ourselves and to others. Let's uh, bring it out of the, the most controversial subject into something that's a little less controversial. Sexual feeling, pain, uh, love, um, we tend when we're experiencing these things, not to think in terms of brain function because they're such powerful experiences for us. But those two are a product of, of brain function. We can always make decisions about how to use what we learn about, about the brain. Uh, it's, giving, it's giving science too much power to think that somehow uh, science is determining everything or that it's something to fear. I mean, this is really something that can be used uh, to make the world better, to, to live healthier, for us to evolve, as it were, into uh, uh, better selves. And uh, of course, we're going to disagree about what that means, but at least it gives us an opportunity to, uh, to explore those things biologically and put some science behind it. Woody Allen said it was his second favorite organ. What was his first? Well, we don't want to ask, do we?